Hi, seniors. This is Haley Jackson, College and Career Counselor at Dickinson High School. I'm here to guide you through your senior survey as well as before completing the survey, some tasks that you might want to do to make it a little more um, uh, effective and, and streamlined. So once you get in, if you're in the symbol blue page, it's going to be our Naviance tab is right here. If you need to get to the symbol blue page, you're going to go to Dickinson ISD. And then on the left hand side, um, there is a, a symbol blue icon link under quick links. So you're going to click on the Naviance tab. We're going to have to put in our zip code 77539 and then choose our high school. It's going to bring you to the login screen. This is the same login as our Google login. So if you hit login, it's automatically going to take you to the Google account that you have on file. You are going to make sure you pick your apps account so that it will log you in. Um, if you're not already logged into Google, that's just going to ask you for your password. Okay, once you're in Naviance, um, there's a few maintenance things we want to do first. Um, we want to clean up our college application list. Um, if you have either nothing there or a bunch of stuff there, you may want to go ahead um, and make that a little bit cleaner because it's going to ask you in your survey to give the status of those applications. So under colleges and colleges I'm applying to, you're going to check out that list. And maybe there's some things on that list that you had no intention. You don't want to have to answer a bunch of questions about them. You can go ahead and choose those schools and remove them from your list. Okay, so then you're going to come left with the ones that you want to actually update your status on. So hopefully the ones you actually applied to and the results of those applications. Okay, so the first cleanup piece is to clean up the colleges that you're applying to. The next is the scholarships that you might have put in your list. So under colleges, again, under scholarships and money, you're going to go to scholarship applications. So you might have quite a few in your list. Um, and so you want to make sure that you clean those up so that you're only answering based on scholarships that you've actually applied for um, and that you're giving us the status of those applications, whether you were awarded um, or whether you were not awarded. Okay, so I'm going to leave just one in the list. I'll leave this one and remove the rest. Okay, it's going to ask me, am I sure I am? Okay, that way that I'm only updating this one. If you're while you're here, if you want to add some outside scholarships to um, your list um, so that you don't have to do it in the survey itself, um, then you are more than welcome to do that here um, instead. And then you just have to check mark um, whenever you're in the uh, scholarship itself or in the survey itself. Okay. So those are two little maintenance things you might want to do before you start the survey. Once those are done, if you go back to the home screen, on the left-hand side under important to do's and tasks, also under what's new, you're going to have the 2020 high school graduation survey task. You're going to click right here on take this survey. So once you're in the survey, um, it's going to ask you several questions. I'm going to walk through the questions quickly so you know how to answer them. Um, so the first one is, are you a first generation college student? So the definition is neither parent has earned a four year bachelor's degree, either of your parent has, and you're going to say no. Um, the next one is what your plans are after high school. So on this piece, um, it's going to be whatever your immediate plan after high school is. So if your plan is to eventually go to a four year college, but you're going to start at a two year community college, then choose that option as your plans after high school. So whatever you're going to be doing in the fall. If you are joining the military, number three is going to ask you what branch you're planning on joining. You do not have to answer it if, unless that answer to number two is military. On number four, it's going to ask you to update your college applications. So we cleaned up our list. So now I just have those two colleges there. Um, so I do want to update the status. I've been accepted to Texas A&M, but I'm going to be attending Texas Tech. So I'm going to say attending as well as send a final transcript to Texas Tech. So notice that if I try to say that I'm attending more than one school, it's going to default and will let me choose one. I can choose to send a final transcript to multiple schools. However, I don't want to send to anybody that I'm not planning on attending. So the only time you might want to send two final transcripts to two different schools is if, say, you're going to do some summer classes at College of the Mainland and then do your fall admissions to, in this case, for me, Texas Tech. So if I do need to add another college here, if I forgot to add, say, College of the Mainland, because I'm going to do some summer stuff, um, then I do need to, I can hit Add New and then search that college by name, add it, and then choose the decision as well as send final transcript to that school. 
Okay, when I go down, uh, the next question is about your financial aid. So did you do your passport test application? Yes or no. If you did not do it, um, this is only if you did not do one of those two applications for financial aid, why did you not uh, do those applications? And then um, under listing scholarships, it is going to, again, we cleaned up that list of scholarships. So it is going to ask you to give the update of those. So were you, did you get awarded the amount in this case I already awarded that I was awarded the 500. Um, and, and then if you have any other in your list, what is the status? So maybe you weren't awarded it, but you applied, then this is gonna be blank and you're gonna say not awarded or maybe you've never applied to that one. So you'll say both. So um, once you have updated all of those pieces and answered all of those questions, the other, op uh, the two options you have are to save and come back or to go ahead and submit your application. So at the bottom, if everything's good, then it's gonna make those bright to green, um, and then you'll be able to either say save and come back or save and finish. If you do need to add a scholarship, you do have that option as well, so if you forgot to add one. All the scholarships in this list are the ones that are posted in Naviance. Um, so if you wanted to choose one of those scholarships as an option, um, because you were either applied or were awarded one of those, um, and then you have that option there. Hey, if you were awarded one of the locals, those are not listed. Um, so you would have to write those in. Um, so in this case, um, if you were awarded the Cornerstone uh, Foundation. Scholarship. then you can choose to add and add, put a totally different scholarship in that list um, and hit add and it will add it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save and come back. It's gonna save my progress um, because then maybe I wanna come back later or maybe I'm waiting on the scholarship and I'm gonna know before the survey closes on the 31st of May. Um, you can hit save and come back or you can say save and finish so that your task for checkout is done. Um, so that it is going to make it done is, is to hit that save and finish button so that it records that task is complete. Um, so if you have any questions, please email me. My, my email is hjackson at dickinsonisc.org. You can also call my office number. I may not be able to answer, but please leave a message. And that number is 281-229-6429. Uh, go Gators.